Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magda and Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there too daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. You guys asked for this review, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer that I got at the Sephora Saving Event. But before we get started, let's prime the skin because we're going to do something a little bit different that I don't do too often. But we have to prime the skin first. And I'm going to use my NYX Grip Primer. I really love this thing. Grips and blurs a little bit. So we're going to let this dry down for a little bit and then I'll be back. I'm back. Primers all kind of dry down, but it's really sticky now. Okay, since this is a cream, cream concealers tend to be a little bit thicker. You know how I usually do my foundation first, then concealer. But what I want to do is spot conceal. So what that is, is I'm going to get this lip brush. You could use a concealer brush. Let's get some of this concealer. We're going to spot conceal. You see these areas here that I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation and see how it goes. And over top, we're going to add foundation. Actually, let's just keep the lights off for now. Any little areas that I know foundation usually doesn't, you know, cover. I have red spots all on my nose. It's very creamy as I'm applying it. It's like moving very well. I always have discoloration around my mouth and around my nose. Oh, this is covering pretty well. I feel like I could just conceal and then go. Not really though, I'm a foundation type of gal, you know? You know, it kind of just blends into the skin. You can't even see it. What? Okay, go small, small brush and just blend it out. You don't want to blend too much because then it may blend away. So all I'm doing is just tapping in these little areas. And spot concealing, I find that creamy concealers work better just because of the thicker consistency while we're at it let's just conceal the under eyes too i already put my eye cream on i'm using the belief and let's see how it conceals i'm honestly not a big cream concealer gal because it's so thick kind of like this this is just really moving and it feels like a little bit hydrating although it's a soft matte i'm gonna get the same brush and just blend it out that before and after though wow Look at this. Look at this. And this is that I just added a little bit just to show you. Not that I'm gonna add more, but you know. Wow. You see all this darkness that's gone? Dang. I love how creamy this is. With pot concealers, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan, but I also don't use them as often. So I'm not used to them. But of course, for you, I will try anything new. I like it. Like it's super creamy, movable. It doesn't look heavy, but it provides coverage. It's definitely getting rid of discoloration without color correcting too, you know? Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is apply this side and then I'm going to give you all the info about the product. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer retails for $30. It comes in 30 shades. I have this shade Medium 1.75 Tiramisu. This is a full coverage oil-free concealer that conceals and blurs imperfections with a soft matte natural looking finish. The highlighted ingredient is hyaluronic acid that promotes hydration, antioxidant with vitamin A, C, and E to deliver daily defense. This retails for $30. It comes in a 0.22 ounce container. Yeah, I like this a lot. Well, and all I'm doing is just tapping around. I'm not pulling, I'm not doing anything and it's just looking so beautiful. Okay, so now that we have our concealer and we spot conceal any dark areas that we have, as you can see, the skin kind of looks one tone. Let's go in with some NARS foundation, their new one. I am in the shade Valencia M5, and I'm going a bit with a lighter foundation because we're already spot concealed, so let's see, you know? I'm just gonna speed this up really quick. Oh, look at this skin! Oh my God, oh my gosh. I, of course, avoided foundation in the under eye area keeping it with our concealer actually let me tell you the time it is currently 7 15 you know what's tripping me out is that the concealer is not really creasing like at all just creases but nothing like i've seen well we've seen you know Dang. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Going back to the spot concealing subject, if you feel like you don't have enough coverage, you can always go on top of your foundation and grab the little areas that you feel that the foundation didn't cover. I typically don't do that. I like to go underneath the foundation. Over the foundation is also a way to do it. But I do want to cover the subject in case you don't know what it means. In case you're new to it, you know? 
not all of us play with makeup every day, you know? We're also gonna be here tomorrow, you know, doing our thing. I'm gonna use this setting powder. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit on my powder puff. Always use clean powder puffs. I'm just gonna look up and continue tapping. I'm not gonna rub and tap, 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 tap. And then with whatever remains, just add it to the face. So cool, I'm just gonna add some bronzer blush. Keep the skin pretty simple and I'll be back. I feel like we're having such a good makeup day but it feels very lightweight, sort of natural, right? <laughs> look at the under eyes. They just look very nice, very concealed, not heavy, not creasy, not crepey. I mean, my bronzer is a little funky. Hold on, I'm using the Fenty palette. Oh my God, that bronzer palette is bomb. I don't feel like we put a lot of effort. We just kind of concealed and yeah, this little thing, it may be worth the hype. This has like 2,000 positive reviews on Sephora. What? We've been sleeping over here. But thank you guys so much for asking me to review it. This is the one product I got the most requests on and here I am for the two days because you know, I'm gonna give you a full review because I don't spot conceal. All my little manchas come out. I don't really mind it. Like, I really like to show you guys how skin looks. But today I'm feeling a little um a little a little extra, you know? But okay, cool. I'm all excited. So let's just jump in front of the window so you guys can see how things look in daylight because, you know, we need different lighting. By the way, this look is up on the channel already. It's the Too Faced Born This Way. I mean, not Born This Way, Too Faced. Oh yeah, Born This Way Sunset Strip Palette. I did three looks with it. Oh. I forgot to mention that daylight can make or break a concealer really quick. I don't know why it always happens specifically with concealer, but look how good this concealer looks. It has good coverage. It's kind of full coverage, but natural. You know what I mean? It's not dry. It doesn't look funky. It doesn't look creasy. And in daylight, girl, it's just a whole nother level, another angle. What do we think? What do we think? Okay, bye. We try to hang on to my hair for the end of the day and it never happens. But you guys, it is eight o'clock. We've had the concealer on all day long. But of course, before we get started, I do want to show you how the concealer and the skin was looking at around five o'clock. And oh my gosh, it was looking very nice. A subtle nice though. It was a little bit different because my under eyes looked really nice and smooth with coverage. <laughs> You know, here we are now, I don't know, 12, 13 hours later, I don't touch up or anything. But look at these under eyes. You see that coverage? You see just the skin? I feel like the spot concealing just gave us a little bit of um. Not a lot, you can't really notice it unless like you're really paying attention, but it gives you enough um to be like, dang, my skin look good. Under eyes, look, they're not even creasing. Like what? I have creasy under eyes, they are dry. Always expecting just for them to be super dry and especially it being a cream, creams are thicker. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked. We definitely, we definitely don't look gastadas. Like that's always the cool. Of course, we're gonna apply it differently tomorrow so I can give you a little bit more options. And yeah, this is it. See you tomorrow morning, bye. We're back, day number two. I was thinking, let's conceal again with my little handy handy brush. I was thinking yesterday, I was kind of like a little shy. Let's add a little more. You see, let's not be shy today. And I'm doing a little more because we're gonna use the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, a lighter weight coverage and let's see. This shade, let me show you. I don't know if I could really show you on my hand, but you see how just creamy and it has like a bit of a rosy undertone, but it's not too light. It's like the perfect tone, which is why it's really worked well for the under eyes. So let's add it. I'm gonna use another brush today. This is Sephora's number 71 brush. You see how it has this slight bent and it fits perfectly. I'm just gonna tap on, not rub. Oh yeah, this is working out well. I'm just literally tapping. Okay, so with the brush, we're gonna just tap in the under eye area. Get this in here. You always wanna get like in this corner cause that's where we get dark. Wow, this thing is like blending. And this brush is like perfection. Okay. Oh, oh my God, this is better. I feel like today we're not as shy, right? We're like really getting into the product. So on this eye, let's use an eye primer. This is an eyelid primer. I don't like it for the eyelid, but I do love it for the under eyes. Like I told you guys, I did put my eye cream on already. So we're gonna add this primer. 
and let it dry a little. It needs some time to like dry down a little bit. It doesn't like completely mattify. Let's give it two minutes. Let's see if we see a slight difference. I mean, this concealer is so good on its own. I don't think it needs help, but vamos a ver. I feel like you can really build this up and it will get like super cakey and creasy and drying. I typically do not, do not like to blend creams with sponges. I just feel like they don't mesh too well. So let's see though. I'm gonna get my damp sponge. It's not like super wet. What I do is like I wet it, I put it under water, and then with the towel, I squeeze it all out. So it gives us that damp effect. It's blending nicely actually, but I feel like this one's a little more full coverage, right? The brush. I honestly don't feel like we need to color correct. That's what's like tripping me out. I feel like this is so good. Yeah, you can kind of tell how the sponge is not as full coverage. You see? It's a slight difference, but it's a difference. Here's the brush, here's the sponge. So that we are evened out, let me just add a little more and just top it over with the brush. You guys, look at this brush though. My gosh, the Real Techniques brush went viral. Literally looks like this. It's completely sold out. It's a little longer though, but it has this flat edge. So this could be like an alternative. So let me add some of this and I'm just gonna speed it up. And then I'm gonna get rid of any creases that we have because we're creasing a little bit. A little more today because, you know, we put more powder, I mean, more product. So I'm gonna look up and just tap down here. You wanna really press in so your under eyes are locked in. You see my little marks are coming through. So I don't know if because I blended the foundation, the tinted moisturizer with my hand, it moved the concealer, the spot conceal, but I really like how the under eyes look under eyes are like a big deal because I have dark under eyes and look you can't even see like the darkness peeking through okay so let me tell you the time so it's 7 30 and then I'll be back just finished up the face kept it super simple because we have the tinted moisturizer my lip you guys is give by Gwen Stefani look at this shade it's so pretty it's matte and shout out to Crystal because she asked me to review this we'll have this on my TikTok and Instagram I likes I likes it looks good I wasn't sure about the red you know it was gonna be too orangey red but no it's like let's look at these under eyes let me look up and show you. They look good, but do I see a difference? Honestly, I kind of like the brush more than the one with the primer. You see creasing, you can always just like brush it away. This is a type of concealer I felt like yesterday. It gets better with body warmth. Throughout the day, things got better. That's what we want in makeup, okay? Especially with the warmth of the skin. Okay, let's just go in front of the window so you guys can see. Okay, bye. I have powder all over my shirt, but look at the concealer. Oh my God, this is the primer side? This is the brush. Yeah, see how the brush looks slightly smoother and with a little more coverage than the initial sponge application. You see, I feel like sponge, it just doesn't do cream products justice. It's a brush that we need. But yeah, overall, not bad, huh? Okay, bye. Bam, I'm back. Oh my God, it is almost 7 p.m. But of course, before we get started, I do want to show you how under eyes and skin was looking at around four o'clock actually. And this time it was looking good. I feel like we had a better coverage today, but we had a little bit more creasing. Here we are now, you guys, you guys. Manchas are still there, which we know I kind of rubbed it off when I rubbed on the tinted moisturizer, but it's okay. Let's look at these bad boys though. You see the coverage here? Today we are creasing a little bit more. Like you see how the creases come a little further down, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Cream concealers tend to be thicker in consistency and they're more likely to crease. What I absolutely love is that there's no dryness, just like yesterday. It's very creamy and workable. You could build it up. You can do like a no makeup makeup look, especially because this is a soft matte. You would think it's like that cream that dries down and kind of doesn't move. I mean, that's good if you have oily skin, but when you're dealing with under eyes, the under eyes usually tend to be drier. So if you're dealing with something matte, it's gonna most likely look dry there, you know? So this is bomb. It is so good. I'm just like shocked. Creams get creamier, <laughs> creamier on the skin. Therefore, we look a little more oily. And then when it comes to the under eye, it could just be too much and too heavy there. But this is perfection have you used it is it your go-to let me know you guys know we're always to chatting in the comments but yeah this is it i'm a hair's already done for the day but yeah i love you guys so 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 much thank you for all the love and support you always show me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye